Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset, not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-made design for the public transport, which includes the brand logo, color palette, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in Pro Visual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D mockups, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a bus. I think this one is what we need. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. Let's continue. The scenes with vehicles have a skybox mode enabled by default. In short, skybox helps you display your 3D model in a specific environment. While we work on the 3D model settings, let's turn off the skybox mode for more accuracy. Let's start editing. I really like the details of the model. Looks impressive. The default materials are set up very well. Let's leave them as they are, but if you'd like to change any textures or the materials on this bus, you can easily do it in ProVisual. Let's customize the material of the body. In the Materials Gallery, you can select the material that suits you or easily change its color and settings. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette, or enter the color code manually, like this. These are the exact colors of the client's bus fleet. This is extremely important. Now let's copy this color and apply it to the body parts. Next, let's move on to the body top and change the color to the one we need. We will twerk this material now. Great! The bus now has all the client's colors. Let's add the design elements to the bus. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared design elements, let's add it. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model 
is always displayed in real time. It's amazing how easy it is in Pro Visual. What a great result. Save Design. The design follows the body of the bus perfectly. This is really nice. Let's change the visibility of the design on the windows a little. Select the Windows tab on the Scene Elements panel. Make sure the Design tab is active. Now in the Material settings, change the roughness. Great! Now it's absolutely lifelike. Let's carry on though. This bus mock-up has the destination displays by default. If necessary, you can change the information on this display. Press Edit Design at the Design panel. In the window that opens, you will see the panel with the design elements, which you can easily change by turning off the design visibility and pressing the Add Image button to add your own design. Save Design. You can also change the color of the image at the display. In the material settings, set the design map visibility at zero. Now, you can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. You can also easily change the number plates the same way we described earlier. Now we need a background. We have lots of pre-made background options in ProVisual. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the colors that suit us. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Now going back to the environment settings to enable the skybox mode again. Let's take a look at the HDRI maps options. Let's check other maps. You actually don't need to spend a lot of time picking the right environment at all. They all are so beautiful. Save your clients money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Perfect. Let's save the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Send it over to your colleagues, friends, or clients. And this is the end of our tutorial on creating a bus mock-up design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.